Raj, thank you so much for being here with us ahead of your first investor day in a decade. Well, uh, Frank, it's great to see you. It's in the great city of Memphis, Tennessee. Um, we are very excited to uh, host the investors here today. Uh, the plan is pretty straightforward. Uh, we have a three-step plan. Uh, we're going to drive uh, uh, operating margins of, uh, to double digits. Uh, we're going to drive balanced revenue growth, and we're going to improve uh, our asset intensity and ROIC of uh, 200 basis points. The overall, uh, drive a total shareholder return of uh, 18 to 22 percent. It's the 50th year of FedEx. Uh, we build this asset base quite strongly, and uh, now it's time to unlock the value of this. All right. Speaking of that plan, uh, just a few minutes ago, you actually uh, put out a release with some new financial targets through fiscal year 2025. Yep. One of those is 14 to 19 percent EPS growth. Yes. The other, something that seems to have the market excited, your shares moving higher in the pre-market. You're going to increase your uh, adjusted dividend payout ratio to now at least 25 percent. Your yep. previous target was about 20 percent. Let's yep. talk about that. Your dividend has really gotten investors excited. Shares yep. up about 20 percent since June 14th, since yep. you announced a 53 percent increase. Well, I think it just uh, signals a confidence uh, in where we think our business is and where we're going forward. Uh, the, uh, uh, you know, the projections that we think will generate cash flow, and obviously for the first priority is to invest back in the business, but then there's enough cash flow for us to drive back uh, to our shareholders and dividends. All right, one of the things you mentioned on your earnings call was uh, wage pressure, the cost yeah. of sourcing labor and things, and that hit margins. Yes. Part of your plan going forward and your vision of the company moving forward is to expand those margins. So is the labor the biggest issue? Is that the biggest headwind to achieving that goal? Well, it's a, you know, it's a very good question, Frank. Uh, you know, when, when last year, about this time, we saw tremendous labor pressure because of labor availability. And uh, we, it is in two ways. One was the fact that we are efficient, inefficiency of our routing. And secondly, the wage rate. We have essentially taken care of the inefficiencies, and now the wage rate is now in our numbers. Yeah. So we have held, dealt with it head on. And the margin conversations that we're talking about in the future assumes that that's in, that's in our numbers. So we are going to improve our productivity, improve our revenue quality, and drive improved margins. So Overall, over the long term, going through these fiscal year 2025 targets, how do you source labor at a better price for you? That's one of the things the Fed's talked about is the overheated labor market. Where do you see that labor market going forward? So, so we have at this point, the labor market is, is, is strong, but it is stable and we're stabilized. So we have uh, this is why we have to make sure that we have to pull levers to make sure, on revenue quality to make sure that we are pricing about inflation and also improve our productivity in our operations to drive operating margin performance. Speaking of pricing, I think that was really the big headline from your last quarter. You saw big increases through all three of your segments. Um, freight having the biggest pricing increase, 28%, but Express with 20% pricing increases year over year. What drove that pricing increase? Is that simply demand? Is that a lot of your customers just wanting to know that they can get some of your capacity? Well, you know, there are several factors here, Frank. Uh, firstly, the overall global capacity, you know, we, FedEx plays a big role now in moving international trade. Uh, secondly, we are a critical infrastructure for e-commerce. Um, so, you know, the, there, is a, there is a very important value that we provide to all uh, e-commerce providers. Uh, and, you know, we are also being quite selective in, in, in some of the, you know, uh, lower yielding traffic. And so the combination of those three things uh, drove our revenue quality.